20 to 17. Dave Shoji up off the bench, pacing a bit here. Well, this is exactly where they're going to have to dig deep and fight. The starters, not all the starters are in. This is a new lineup, and this is their opportunity to show what they have. Yoshimura to serve for Hawaii Pacific. Guy Hui, Uyato dump shot go. And I love that. She is so confident and poised coming in and taking over the setting opportunity here. So Forsythe comes into the middle at 6-4. Griffiths will serve for Hawaii. 21-17. Griffiths gets it in. Palayo. They go outside to Bell. Saved by Griffiths. Ball is hit over by Hartong. Chasing that down is Fleming. Palayo gets it across. Uniato outside to Hartong. Great save by Palayo. Ball is hit over by Bell. That'll be saved by Hawaii. Little touch that time. Little tip shot by Hartung. Ball is hit to Griffiths. And there is Forsyth. Dug up by Palayo. Ball is hit down the middle of that time by, by Ewan. Good save by Goodman. Down the side it goes. And that hit by Hartung. Back it comes from Bell. Uyaka step out, Forsyth, in the air by Palayo, getting out of the way is Bell. Fleming gets it across, what a rally. It goes to Hartung, and Hartung is blocked. And it all starts from the defense. The Sea Warriors playing spectacular defense, and again, take another look. Kayla Goodman just spreading it all out. That was the rally of the night, I have to say, with a, a nice block. Both teams a little fatigued after that rally. And the crowd applauded both teams. And the crowd really applauded Hawaii Pacific. Get over by Forsyth. Here we go again. Yoshimura gets it across. Maeda. Uyato. That ball is blocked again. Fleming was there. Fleming along with Bradley. 21-19. Hawaii Pacific starting to fill up the mirrors of the Rainbow Wahine. Serving his bell. Dug up by Maeda. There's another dump shot by Uyato. 22-19, Hawaii. Uyato very poised. Jump setting and, and very confident in dumping that ball over. Uyato to serve. 22-30-19. Gets it in. Yoshimura. With it is Bradley. Ball is blocked back by Forsythe. Cross court. Saved by Palayo. Ball is hit over by Bell. And then blocked down. 23-19, Hawaii closing in on the set. Timeout has been called. We will, too. And she's showing some of her talent tonight. 23, serving 19. Lucy Moore for Bradley. Ball is hit over that time by Rekka. Rekka got that down in front of Maeda. And it's 23-20. to Maeda a little bit up on defense, and she started a little bit lower. She would have been able to get that ball. Fleming to serve. Line drives it over. Hartung over pass, and that ball hit down. Hit down by Rekka. Difficult jump float serve right at Hartung. 23-21. Serving again, long, it's now Aloha Ball for the match. And this crowd rises. Weber comes into the game. She will be in the front row along with Forsyth. And along with Goodman. Serving will be Hartong. Dave Shoji off the bench. Serving is Hartong, gets it in. Yoshimura into the net, trouble. The ball is one-handed over by Rekka. Uyato outside Weber. Is it in? It is out. Weber hits it out. 
and it's 24-22. Away on the cusp of winning. They have some wiggle room. Serving will be Bradley. Gets it in. Hard time. Uyata. Goodman. Blocked back. Goodman again to the middle. Hard time. Pelayo. They go outside and the ball is hit out by Kern. She wants a block. She's not going to get it. And the match ends. 25-22. Sea Warriors put up a fight in the third set. They get close, but not enough. University of Hawaii Athletics Department would like to present the 2009 Rainbow Wahine Volleyball Team with championship wing, uh, championship rings commemorating their WAC title and appearance in last year's NCAA semifinals. Now welcome the members of the 2009 volleyball team. Corinne Kashopo. Interesting uh, story. Anneli Kumi Kashopo. As Kashopo has been diagnosed with heart murmurs, she cannot play anymore. That's, That's correct. really terrible. Yeah. It's us. Uh, Kashopo. Anneli Kumi Otenero, who yeah. just helped coach the Puhuku uh, High School girls team at the state tournament. Anneli Danielson, only a freshman last year. These are rings for the final four participation. Alexis Forsyth. A sophomore last year. For Kanani, the Kamehameha Schools graduate. Alex Griffiths. Nice. I'd like to see one of those rings close up. What does it say? Is it I don't, I don't know. I know. But what a nice memorabilia for the, for the team. Took them long enough to get it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Just a year. Well, almost a year. This bring back, uh, brings back memories of this team, that's for sure. Yes. And it's appropriate because they had the alumni game earlier and hopefully they all played. Well, that's probably why they're going to get their rings tonight. Yes. Because of the alumni. Yeah. Very strong alumni in the Rainbow Wahine. Goes on for years and years and years and generations and generations. That's right. There's the ring close up. Close as we can see. That's not bad. Beautiful. Danny Bofua. Danny Bofua, one of the two seniors on the team this year. The quarterback, as they'd call her. And Out of mid-pack. Other members of the team not in attendance tonight. Stephanie Brent, Stephanie Farrell, Catherine Fowler, Amber Kaufman, Paige Mitchell, and Alexis Robbins. Volleyball fans, how about another nice round of applause for your 2009 Western Athletic Conference Championship Waihine Volleyball Team. It's like an early Christmas. Now at this time, we'd like to call to the floor Rainbow Wahine Volleyball Booster Club President Stanley Ching for another special presentation. Last season, the Rainbow Wahine made their fourth NCAA semifinals appearance in the last decade and first since 2003. At this time, Marilyn Moniz Kohomo Hanohano will present commemorative NCAA chairs for the occasion to both Stanley Ching and head coach Dave Shoji.
Mahalo, Stanley, and to the Rainbow Wahine Volleyball Booster Club for all of your support. A nice round of applause for our very important boosters. And good luck to Coach Dave Joji and the 2010 squad in your quest for another NCAA championship. Well, first they've got to finish the season in the WAC. And then once they do that, then they will go into the WAC tournament. And then we'll see in the NCAA a good name. And it was one of the great rallies of the, of the season because this rally went on a long time. And you can credit both teams for keeping it going. Both Division I Hawaii and Division II Hawaii Pacific. Because it just would not stop. Outstanding play, rolling digs, kill shots, blocks, everything was included in this particular rally. 52 contacts in this rally that lasted a minute and three seconds. Worthy of the price of admission, that's for sure. It just kept going. And at the end, at the end of this rally, it was uh, the Division II team, Hawaii Pacific. And they had every right to celebrate that time. Even though Hawaii dominated the rest of the match, that's for sure. But that particular instance, that, that example of play was really good. Most uh, outstanding players tonight for Hawaii Pacific, the Sea Warriors, Kelly Balanai. Balanai had nine kills. And uh, Kyla Goodman from the University of Hawaii, Rainbow Wahine, she came into the game and she had five kills and no errors. So we congratulate both players tonight. So there's only one there's only one uh, home game left in the regular season and that's and that's to I that's Idaho. The way the season is where they go on the road and they play three games in five days and then they come home and they play three games in five days. I mean that probably is a money saving kind of thing for the travel for the other teams and and things like that but it really puts pressure on a team to really display their wares really well because they cannot let down at any time. And so far, Hawaii is not let down in the Western Athletic Conference 12 and 0. And they are now overall, if you count tonight, 23 and 1 on the season. Well, absolutely. You have to be very tenacious. You have to be very disciplined. But give credit to Rainbow Wahine, Dave Shoji, and staff for getting all players in tonight. And as they head out to go on this road trip, they're going to have to be extremely disciplined because they are the team that everybody wants. November marks the start of the college basketball season. Now the Rainbow Warriors will tip off their season next weekend right here at the Stan Sheriff Center in the Outrigger Hotel's Rainbow Classic. First year head coach Gib Arnold and the Rainbow Warriors open the season against the Montana State Bobcats of the Big Sky Conference. Tip off is scheduled Friday night at 7 and can be seen on Oceanics via pay per view digital channel 255. Get a good look at something new, a new era starting in University of Hawaii basketball. To order, call 643 21 Zero zero six four three two one zero zero. For Lisa Strand Ma'a, this is Jim Leahy. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been another exclusive sports presentation of K5, the home team.